Hey everybody, it is Miss Garavelli, and I was just going to make a quick video to kind of explain in more detail this big project that we started on Friday. So in my fourth period, y'all were the only class that was not able to start this project just because we had some kids that had to leave around 12.15. So y'all will be starting this on Monday. So just wanted to kind of summarize this because I know on Friday I was kind of going really, really fast and it might have been a little bit confusing. All right, so the plan is, these are the directions, and this link is on Canvas. It is under announcements, and I'm also gonna put it in literature in the unit three module. So what you're gonna do with your group, you guys are going to be creating a live news broadcast. So you are going to be thinking about the story that we just read, which is The Sound of Thunder, and you are going to pick a scene that you would like to pretend that you are reporting live about. So, for example, if you look down here, I put some ideas, Echo sees a T-Rex. So, if you pick that scene, then you and your group are going to be pretending like you are on scene in the jungle, like the moment that he sees a T-Rex, okay? So, you're going to be creative. It's going to be funny, cheesy, all those great things um, because that is what's going to make it interesting. Now, we're going to finish this next week. So, the last um, day that we're going to work on it in class is either going to be Thursday or Friday. It is going to be due, um, I'm going to say, probably we'll say Friday by 8.15. So that I mean Thursday will be our last day to work on it. You're not going to be presenting this week. Um, I want us to actually finish the, the meat of the project, which is like the actual Google slideshow and the script and all of that. And then when we get back from fall break, then that will be the week that we all present. And we can use props and we can use... Um, costumes and all of those great things and y'all see I just voice cracked in the middle of this so I know that y'all are familiar with that okay so here are the directions your objective is that you're going to create a live tv news broadcast from the scene like I just said um here are some ideas now we went over these in all my classes like I said except for fourth but if there is one that I forgot to add or that you think would be interesting just let me know and we can add it to the list so here are the requirements meaning what you have to have you're going to create the slideshow. Most of you already did that Friday. You're going to share it with me and share it with everybody in your group. One person is. So one person creates it, shares it with their group member, shares it with me. Um, you're going to have a title slide. On that title slide is going to be the name of your news station. And then also you can use that to put your motto or your slogan, or you can put that on a different slide. Just as long as you have a first slide is the name of your TV station. You're going to have, like I said, another slide that's going to have your motto or your slogan. So just think about like, what is one thing that sets you apart from all the other TV stations in that room? So you look around, Miss Caravelli is going to be watching all these broadcasts. Why is yours the best? Like, what are you going to do? Like, are you always on the scene even when like other people can't get there? Like, are you live all the time? Do you somehow like have insider information that other news stations don't have? Um, what makes you different, okay? Um, let's see what else. You're going to, on your sl slideshow, have your name, your motto, then you're going to have your slogan, then you're going to have your character names. So that would be like, who's going to be your news anchor or news anchors, which those are the people that are reporting. Are you going to have different characters? Like, is somebody going to be Eccles? Is somebody going to be Travis? Is somebody going to be Les Sprints? All those different things. Now, remember... You can be multiple people because you only have three to four people in your group. So you might have to go back and forth, and that's okay. Like, that's what's going to make it, I mean, funny and creative, okay? Um, if you have different names, like if you have somebody playing Travis, then you would put something like Travis played by Miss Garavelli or whoever it's going to be, okay? Um, you're going to have your script on your slideshow. Let's see what else. Your script is not going to be showing during your presentation, but it's just going to be there for Miss Garavelli to use to grade you. Um, you're also going to have different backgrounds, so you have to think about, okay, where, what is the scene that I'm reporting from? And then you're going to think about what you think that scene would look like. And you're going to make that scene, scene the entire background of one or more of your slides on your slideshow so that we can put it in the background as you're presenting. Okay, so I kind of went into more detail about on my slideshow, just so you could have a better idea. So this would be the slideshow that I'm turning into my teacher, and it's not done, just a a start. So here's my channel, channel 303. Here's my motto, always live all the time. My character list. So I just named it characters. And I put news anchor and I gave my name Ashley Albritton. And that's me, Miss Caravelli. So I put in parentheses. Travis is going to be a character. And that's going to be played by Joseph, one of my group members. 
Les Brents is going to be a character, and that's going to be played by Pierce, one of my group members. Eccles, played by Biven. Kramer, Joseph, Billings, played by Zeta. So you see Joseph is repeated, and that's okay. Then I'm going to start my script. So when you're thinking right now, how long does my script have to be? There's not, I'm not going to give you a specific answer because you've got to understand that when we get finished seeing your broadcast, we need to be able to know exactly what happened during that scene, okay? So my scene that I chose is when they are in the time machine traveling back to time, like about to be there. So I picked this one just because it was on the list so no one else is going to do it. But um, I just thought it would be interesting. Like, what if you had a news reporter in the time machine with Travis, Eccles, Kramer, Billings, and Les Brents as they're traveling back in time? So I made up my own script, but I included details from the story to show my teacher that I read it, that I'm using the, the correct information, but I'm putting my own twist on it, being creative. So my script would probably start with them in the time machine, and it would probably end right when they get there, and Travis is like, messing around with his gun and um not Travis Eccles and Travis gets really mad at him and then probably include like up until like when he's Eccles is getting really really scared and I'd probably stop after that so I wouldn't also include seeing the T-Rex because that's that would be way too long so I would just include them going in the time machine making that a big deal and then when they get there Eccles is messing around and he gets scared so I'm just going to start and read this to you so script for the broadcast so I would start and I put my name, that's who's speaking, and then what I would say. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ashley Albritton, and we are coming to you live from an actual time machine. You heard me right, folks, a time machine. Eccles has decided to pay $10,000 for the chance to shoot a T-Rex. Can you believe it? Inside the time machine, we have Eccles, Travis, Les Brents, Kramer, and Billings. Also, I would just like to bring to your attention that no other news teams are here on the scene. So I need to change that. We are the only channel giving you live access to this. Now, guys, I know this is cheesy. It's supposed to be. That's what makes it good. I don't want to read a boring script. We already read the story, so we don't need to reread the story. Make it interesting. So a couple things I want you to notice here. I put a couple details from the story. I put the people that were in the time machine. That's from the text. I put how much Eccles paid. That's from the text. And let's see what else. And then I just added, you know, something funny in there to... Give a little shout out to my news station because I my motto, remember, was that we're live all the time. Okay. Then in, I'm still talking, so script continued. Now, Eccles, what made you want to risk your life to go on the safari? Also, how are you feeling? You look a little pale. Well, Miss Albritton, I've hunted just about every wild game there is. When I heard about Time Safari Inc. on the radio, I knew that I had to give them a call. A T-Rex is just about the only kind of animal I haven't hunted. So again, a couple of different details I included from the text. I put um, that he's looking a little bit pale, which is on our study guide for our test Tuesday. He was looking really pale. That shows us that he was nervous. His jaw stiffened. He was trembling and is gripping his gun tightly. I also included the name of the company, which is Time Safari Inc. That's from the story. And I include this part because he kind of bragged about the fact that he had hunted all these different types of animals. And then Eccles again. I need to put scripts continued. Pale. and eh, I feel great. I'm not scared of a little old dino. Well, you're also gripping your gun pretty tightly. And are your arms trembling a bit? Oh no, that's just excitement. We are also here with Travis. Travis is a safari guide to the past. Okay, so here I included the other details about him being nervous. Um, and then I put Travis's name and told y'all that he was the safari guide. Travis, do you mind if we ask you a few questions? And then Travis, I need to bold and underline this. Of course not. How long have you been taking people to the past? How do you feel about your newest hunter, Eccles? Well, we've been doing this for a couple years now. We try not to make a big deal about it because the government doesn't love that we travel to the past. Okay, so a couple things. I put the, about the government not loving it. Um, I am asking about how he feels about Eccles because I know that, remember, Travis is not very fond of Eccles. And then this part, I have no idea how long they've been traveling to the past. I made that up. That's okay because I'm including all this other information but I'm going to put some other details that, you know, I just want to use in there, even if they're not from the text. Can you explain why they don't love for you to travel to the past? I don't understand. Well, there's this thing called the butterfly effect. There's a chance, a slight chance, that we could change something in the past that could then change something in the future. That's why we are always really careful. To be honest, this Eccles fellow has me a little worried. He doesn't seem to understand how serious this is. Okay, so I started talking about the butterfly effect. 
and how they're scared about change in the past that's going to affect the future. And I also wrote about how he doesn't really love Eccles and how he's kind of just thinking it's funny. Can you explain how you're especially careful? Bless Prince, can we hear a little from you? You're the only one, you're the one that actually does most of the work before the safari, am I right? Well, it's a team effort, but I do a lot behind the scenes before we travel to the past. I go and put out an anti-gravity path just to be safe. We want to make sure that nothing touches the world of the past. I also study the animals and pick out pick out one that is pick one that is going to die anyway. That is the one that we plan on shooting. I shoot it with red paint so that we will recognize it when we get there. Okay, so lots of details here about how they pick the dinosaur, how they know which one to shoot, all that stuff. Now I'm not done, but I am right now for this example. I would keep going until I got to the place I wanted to stop, which is right after they land and Eccles is messing with his gun. Okay, the next really important thing is that you need to make sure that you have all the scenes that you want as your background when you are presenting. So one scene I have to have, obviously, is them in the time machine. So this is my time machine picture that I found. And this would just be on the board as I'm presenting that part. This is my picture of the jungle. I know that I'm going to be at the end of my news broadcast. I'm going to be in the jungle. And then I might end with the T-Rex showing up because maybe like, he bit the cord of my camera or something and I go, it goes blank. I don't know yet what I'm going to do, but I might use this. So hopefully that gave you a little more information about what to do for this project. Again, you're going to have all week until Thursday to work on this, not all day, every day, but you'll have time every day. And then you'll be presenting after fall break. So just think of any questions that you maybe have that you want to ask me before we get started on Monday. Um, I hope you enjoyed all of my voice cracks and my cheesy example. I hope that yours is even cheesier, and I cannot wait to see how creative you guys are. See you Monday.